Hi friends, today we will sketch this cloth spine in SOLIDWORKS. So keep watching and let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. Let's go for a sketch. Okay, so now we will sketch part 1 for cloth spine. So select front plane, sketch. Select a center line exit now let's start choose a line up to here little up exit now let's assign dimension the full length keep 60 mm this height 3.5 mm 1.5 mm and 3 mm and the distance from here to this point 5 mm and the distance from here 8 mm ok now choose a line draw a line up to here go back and draw a circle ok line and draw make a half circle line and connect with this point exit now let's we will assign the dimensions and everything This is the center point, so a smart dimension two point five mm and the distance from bottom. 7.5 mm ok and uh, delete this circle first select up then draw a circle then connect with this now exit now select 1 mm 1 mm and choose the radius 3 mm and the height from bottom 8.05 mm ok now select this both the lines and make relation collinear ok now assign the distance from this point to here 20 mm ok choose center s drop one star here ok and we will assign the distance keep 3 mm ok and make sure it is co tangent here ok now our geometry is fully defined select extruded boss and extrude up to 12 mm select ok now select this back space back plane sketch normal select circle and draw one circle up to this point exit now select this outer line and select the circle and make relation tangent ok choose a line exit trim entities trim this outer line now select 
extruded cut select through all ok now this portion cut We will assign the color for whole body red. Okay. Now we will select this face. A sketch normal. First, draw a center line. Now choose corner rectangle. and start from this point up to here and here also start from this point through all exit now select these three lines and make relation symmetric okay now select this line and this line make relation collinear and bottom also both the line select collinear now we will assign the distance keep 9 mm and the height keep 8.5 mm that's it now select extruded cut and choose up to surface and select this as a surface and keep degree 3 little inside okay now see now select this face sketch normal and here we want to create some teeth exit choose center line and connect from midpoint now select this three lines and make relation symmetric clear now try so okay so better try parallel no this one also not uh, suitable so just select these two lines and make relation only parallel what happened uh let's let's assign one relation tangent perpendicular okay now assign length one point eight mm distance from here to here zero point four five mm okay now let's try to make equal relation okay now this is equal okay now select extruded cut choose here through all okay now select linear pattern select this line as a axis distance keep 1.8 mm and four numbers only not more than that okay now choose fillet 0.1 mm select this face inside line okay now this is created now select this face 
स्केच नॉर्मल सेलेक्ट सर्कल ड्रॉ ए सर्कल विथ सेम ओके नाउ चूज अ लाइन Now select from here. Up to here, and connect with circle. Exit. Now this connected with circle. Make sure it is horizontal. Select circle and this point should be coincide. And here also it should be connect with this point. Okay. Now choose stream entities. Select this outer circle. Okay. Now this one we want to extrude cut up to three mm only. Okay. That's it. Now select linear pattern. Select any this axis. Keep six mm and. two numbers only okay now see this created now select this face sketch normal and here we want to create some bodies choose circle draw a circle and keep the diameter 1 mm and the distance from outer line Fourteen mm. Okay. Choose stream entity. Delete this half circle. Okay. Now let's extrude it and make up to through all. Select this circle. and select blind 12 mm reverse choose reverse okay now we want to make multiple number of uh, this pattern so choose linear pattern and uh, select this line as a axis distance keep One point five mm and make nine numbers. Okay. Now select this face sketch normal. First draw a center line. Draw from midpoint. Select corner rectangle. Draw a center line. Assign the distance. Twenty by three mm, and the distance from this line keep two mm. Okay. Now select this three line and make a relation symmetric. Okay. Now choose fillet zero point three mm and select these two edges only. Okay. Now increase zero point seven five mm and select this. another two edges okay now let's extrude cut choose through all 
ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस फेस स्केच नॉर्मल नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कट दिस एक्स्ट्रा पोर्शन सो वट वी विल डू सेलेक्ट सेंटर लाइन select the line and make relation horizontal again choose a center line select corner rectangle and assign the length 4.4 mm okay and select these three lines and make relation symmetric Oh, sorry. Select these three lines. Okay, and uh, this one you can make up to here. Okay. Now select this line. or we will select line from here to this go back and draw a half circle up to this point and connect with this point exit select this line and this line make cordial delete 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 this line because we want to create select this line convert entities or let's draw a circle that's it okay delete this outer line also and we will sketch new line exit choose trim entity delete this half circle no here we want this line so select line connect and uh, up to here exit now try to trim now that's it this outer body created now we will choose sketch offset 1 mm and select this outer line select here reverse keep 1 mm select this one better uncheck select okay now this outer section we will trim so what we will do connect exit now let's extrude cut and here select this face remove this region because this is what we want select this inside and select this outside and select this outside also select reverse direction 
सी ओके नाउ द एक्स्ट्रा पोर्शन कट यू कैन सी जीरो पॉइंट टू एम एम सेलेक्ट दिस फेस जीरो पॉइंट टू एम एम ओके और नो नीड दिस कीप एज इट इज इट लुक्स बेटर ऑफसेट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एम एम एंड सेलेक्ट दिस टू आउट इनर एंड आउटर लाइन ओके सी इट लुक्स नाइस नाउ वी विल क्रिएट वन प्लेन सो चूज फ्रंट प्लेन plane keep 6 mm inside okay now select this plane sketch normal choose center line select circle and draw a circle and let's make the distance first place a star point there and the distance from bottom line keep 3 mm okay now select a line up to bottom line exit choose mirror select this line and mirror about center line okay now let's make the mid gap keep 8 mm select trim entities and delete outer circle choose fillet select 0.3 mm select this corner and this corner choose okay now we want to create one more geometry here exit now select this line and this line make relation parallel now let's make the dimension 1.8 mm 7 mm and the distance from end point keep 1 mm select okay now choose fillet select point 3 both the ends okay now select extruded cut choose mid plane uh here uh, this line not connected so select a line collect this end to this end okay now select extruded cut choose mid plane and only up to 8 mm not through all okay now see the holes created here select this face is sketch normal and here we want to create a hole keep the diameter 2 mm and distance from outer line 12 mm okay and extrude cut up to 
point eight mm. Okay. Now hide this plane. Now choose. Uh, we want to cut something here also. Select this face sketch normal. Select corner rectangle. Choose this point and again connect with that point. Exit. Keep 1.2 mm and the length 0.35 mm. Okay, and select extruded cut up to 12 mm. Okay. Now choose fillet. Select 0.1 mm and select one by one all the edges okay now select this face okay now all 1 mm select point 3 and select this inside face this face also ok it will take time so this is our first part is ready this is actually first and second part second part also when we will make it mirror now save as this part go to desktop select cloth is pen and this one select part 1 let's go for a part 2 Now we will make the spring for cloth spin. So choose front plane, sketch. Draw hori horizontal and some vertical line from origin point. Select a line and draw a line ok now select origin point and this line and make a relation midpoint coincide and midpoint both we need now let's make 4 mm ok Now again we want to draw a one vertical line and keep the gap 14 14 mm ok now just extrude Now choose a star point and place two star here. One and two. And just make the gap. Two mm each. Okay. Now select center arc. 
center point arc select this circle this point and draw a circle from this point up to here exit again choose center point arc select this as a center draw a circle up to this point now make relation this two point should be in same line now both the points gap 10.2 mm select ok now choose offset entities select 1.5 mm and select this line reverse direction ok choose a line ok and extrude it select 1.5 mm ok now choose fillet 0.72 select this face and the select another end face select ok select this face and this face ok now it is round ring we will assign some material so it will identify go to chrome and assign satin finish chrome or assign chrome brushed chrome ok now save as spring ok now let's go for assembly now we will sp start the assembly of cloth spine choose new part select assembly ok now browse the first part and ring we will adjust our screen yeah, and uh, we will increase the quality of material now press control select this part and create one more delete this relation it is created by mistake in now rotate the component because we want to set it now rotate ok now we will make mat select this and this make relation co-centric ok select this face and this face coincident ok now this is the relation created now we can uh, coincide here also to just create select this face this face Oh, okay it's maybe not matching let assign our spring face 
this face and select this face and assign the gap 0.75 mm ok now just drag it up now select this circle and make relation tangent up surface ok the another body also we want to make the same relation this face and this face tangent ok now see our cloth spine is ready so this is the hanger for cloth we just hang our clothes in anywhere any places I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe our channel for watching more more and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.